Got cleaned out from debris. Kind of gives a clean look at where I'm at here. I am focusing in on this chimney area and I'm just kind of going at it carefully and seeing where it uh, stops up there. I don't want to just take all the support out and then it's uh, there's more than I thought. But I did wiggle it around a little bit and there doesn't seem to be it doesn't seem to be, go too far up so uh, I might have to go up in the attic and start taking it down from there so it gets low enough. Um, but I think I showed before how you can kind of see see me move it around here. There it is. See, it's just being supported by this some stilts here. So there's a lot of weight there. So I, I have to go about this pretty carefully. And then the positive thing is this is so crumbly that I don't have to do much to get to get it to pull off of there. I pretty much just have to wedge something in there in between the cracks and then it just falls out. So that's one positive thing about this. So you can see this is just pretty much powder. This mortar and there's nothing to it at all. So Yeah, that's pretty much what I have to deal with. I don't know why they left this little part here. Maybe it's because the reasons why I don't want to do it. <laughs> they just kind of did a little shortcut. Just the typical fix around here is kind of just a shortcut way of doing something. Other people have to take like a rent a jackhammer, a miniature jackhammer thing is and get it off that way but I don't I won't have that problem for sure. Well, it's been a while since I've been up in the attic. First time I've been up here I just looked in but um, there's gonna be a couple of future reasons why I need to get in here. So I'll just give you a glimpse of what it is if you haven't seen it. It's kind of hard to see back there but um, Oh, it's going to be hot up here. <laughs> Not very fun to work in. Oh, I can't really see the chimney. It's in that general direction. Oh gosh, it's like a sauna. Because <laughs> that's what it's supposed to be like, right? Might have to reinforce all this stuff in the future. Oh, there's so much insulation. That's the biggest hang up that I have on doing any of this stuff. It's the biggest deterrent for any of my ideas. Because um, it's still good insulation, and I would have to replace it, and it would cost money. But if I don't replace it, it's in the way of me supporting, putting more. Uh, 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 support beams, sistering them up with the uh, the ones already exist down there. I'd have to dig out the insulation and do that. Uh, if I did a, a vaulted ceiling, I would have to take out this insulation. So it's pretty much in the way if I want to get rid of it or not. So looks like they did a little support beam over there. I didn't notice that before. All right. Well, let's. I'll try to get in there. I got a couple boards to slide in there and stand on. Uh, there's nothing else I could really do, so I gotta get in there. No use complaining about it. I just gotta, gotta go for it. All right, I just stuck, stuck uh, my head in here a little closer. I did notice. Um, I don't know if you can see it on camera right now, but. That, that little, in the insulation, there's a bump right there, and I think that's the uh, remnants of that chimney. And I, I was climbing in there, and I just got way too nervous uh, because of that uh, ceiling. 
underneath there is not supported. And so in the future, when I do this uh, reinforcement in here, I'm gonna have some supports on the ceiling. And I can't put those supports for the ceiling until I do the foundation. So I can't do a lot of things until I get the foundation secure. But as far as the inside, I think now that I have an idea of how how much of that remnant of the chimney I have left, um, it gives me at least some to work with so I, um, I can at least know where the end is instead of... I, I'm just glad I know it's not like three or four feet of stuff that I don't see. It's more like maybe a foot and a half or maybe two feet. So I could work with that inside and I would rather do that than climb in here just yet. Plus it's so freaking hot. I need to do this on a non hot day or at night. Oh man. There's no way I could survive in there for more than five minutes. All right, on the inside here, I'm just kind of pushing it up a little bit with my hand and I could feel it moving around. So I know that there's no more than probably a foot above this. So I could work with that, just like that. So there is still quite a bit of weight on there, but I'm able to ex access this part of it and just kind of grab stuff as they break out. So I'm feeling better about it. Okay, I'm on the other side of this. I know it's hard to orientate yourself, but uh, uh, this is a little technical as I get the supports out. I can't just grab stuff up there, but I do feel uh, when I push up on that, there's kind of this heavy block <laughs> that I, I can't just break apart because there's cement around it. So I'm going to have to just kind of take out bricks a little bit by a little bit and then just kind of try to lower it as much as I can until I get can get the this big chunk off of there. I mean it's on the borderline of being too big. but not big enough to be too intimidating, so... But I don't know how else I'm gonna do this uh, right now, so I'm just gonna... Maybe I'll wedge some boards up here just so I can clear it out before... Maybe that's what I'll do. I am a little nervous, but it's not anything that's gonna cause too much trouble if it does fall out. I've been uh, working on it on this side too and uh, just grabbing the stuff that breaks off. Using those boards as wedges, so it's not as heavy as it was, so that, that's what I'm going for. Should be all right from now on. I'm constantly thinking of ideas on how to repurpose something, especially with this, because it's so heavy, and uh, you know the wall plaster stuff. And uh, because it just saves so much work and labor, I mean, you could already, I mean, it's common sense, but um, this is the, I started piling it out here on the more bare spots of the uh, driveway that, that I didn't get it on before. And this is the, the old stuff that I put down before. So this used to look like that. So you can get a good idea of how this just breaks down basically just turns into sand but it's a heck of a lot better I mean it looks just like a gravel driveway I mean dirt driveway it was better than the uh, just dirt gravel uh, stuff that they had I had before it was always getting muddy especially in the puddle areas and I I know that they put gravel down before but it would just sink in but this stuff is working great for the driveway. This part I'm going to clean up and then I'm going to put my brick here to repurpose somewhere else. All right.
hardest part is over. This is the mother of the all of the chunks. But this is what I was having to deal with. This is the part I couldn't see. So I'm going to show you at the top here as I'm taking the bricks off that it's just full of dirt. It's amazing. And I'll just show you what I have to do to just get these off. That's it. <laughs> I, I'm imagining that's kind of what my foundation is doing too. Uh, I don't know. So I'm going to have to reinforce the foundation like that. That looks like this. Okay, a lot of that is soot, it looks like. And that is just getting everywhere. That's going to be nasty to clean up around here, but I'm only motivated because I think it's the last thing I'm going to do. I have to somehow close that in so that stuff is not going to fall in on me. But uh, can you believe it? This is more, this is like three quarters of the way there taken off. And there is still a, a lot of weight on that, on those stilts. I mean, it feels a lot better, but it's like, I just, it just blows my mind how much weight was, was on these it's, it's not even two by fours. It's this one by four nailed into another one by four into the two by four. Same uh, deal here. And same deal here. This is what it's resting on, that one by four. And this is a two by four that is nailed into and this two by four is broken. I mean, I am so surprised that it even lasted this long. And this is like the two by six that is the main. So essentially there's only a two by six and everything else is just kind of nails or sitting there. I have no idea how that stood up there. I'm learning so much and I can't go wrong with it. Well, it's complete, completely out of there now. I just have to uh, work on the crappy part and clean this place up. All right, I think I'm out of steam now. I am just got this cleaned up as best as I could right now. So I'm just gonna call it a day and it'll be motivating to get back to it since it's all clean. Next job is uh, working on this floor, I think. I think that's the next step. Now I'll have access to this foundation. The only thing that keeps me going is I'm learning so much. As I was looking up here, one positive thing that I just thought about was having direct access for my new uh, chimney, whatever you call it, flue pipe or whatever it is. Um, <clears throat> Cause I didn't know how far I was going to have to go up there and this gives me just a straight shot right up there. So that's one positive thing. Now I just have to get my stove and I'm looking at around right now even though it's May and I always try to remind myself to buy things off season because that's when they're most abundant and people are given good deals. So I'm looking for a stove and that'll just fit right up there. That's awesome. So now whenever I look at this, it's just, I'm just uh, filled with motivation as I look around now. Starting to see the vision.